So in this example, we're looking at the Chicago Bulls. And the Chicago Bulls are selling tickets, and they want to know how many tickets they need to sell to maximize their revenue. And the only piece of information they give us is this relationship between price and quantity. Now this is a demand curve. And so the way we're always going to start these revenue or these profit maximization problems is we're going to start by just writing down a very general equation, something like revenue equals price times quantity. And you may be thinking, well, how does that help me get anywhere? Well, it just kind of forms a foundation. And so what we want to do here is we want to turn this in to an equation just with one variable on the right side. And so notice what they've given me in this demand equation is that price is equal to this quantity here. So rather than having price in my equation, rather than having price times quantity, I'm going to have this number times quantity because this number and price are actually the same exact thing. And why does this help me at all? So now I know that revenue in terms of quantity is equal to 2000Q minus 0.5Q squared. And just to give you an idea of what this, like, what this is like, basically it's telling me revenue is a parabola, something like that. And so the way this equation works is if I give it a number for Q, the output I get, so if I plug in Q equals 100, the output I get is going to be the revenue for 100 tickets. I want to find the attendance that maximizes the revenue. I want to find this point on the curve. So how do I find that point? Well, that point corresponds to when the derivative of my function is zero. It corresponds to the only point on this graph that has a horizontal tangent line. So I'll start by taking our prime of Q, and I'll get 2,000 minus Q, so 0.5 times 2. And if I set this equal to zero, I will have 0 equals 2,000 minus Q, or that Q is equal to 2,000. And so we think that this is the attendance that maximizes revenue. Now before we confirm that, we want to confirm that, we want to do a first derivative test or a second derivative test. Here I'll just do a first derivative test. And it will tell me that R prime of Q 2,000. Now, so if I go to the left of 2,000, so 2,000 minus maybe 0, right, that's going to be a positive number. If I go to the right of 2,000, maybe something like 10,000, 2,000 minus 10,000 would be a negative number. And so this first derivative test tells me that, indeed, well, I increase up to 2,000, and then I decrease away from it. So 2,000 is indeed a maximum. So this is the attendance that maximizes my revenue. The next part of this problem could ask you something like, what, what price maximizes the revenue? And this is actually, I've done all the work I need to kind of solve this. The, the problem gave me the relationship between price and revenue up there, uh, price and quantity up there, and I found the quantity that maximizes revenue. So I can just write price equals 2,000 minus 0.5Q, and that's going to tell me that the price should be P equals 2,000, minus 0.5 times 2,000 equals $1,000 per ticket. Now this is much higher than in real life, but this is just an example problem with easy numbers for us to work with. Finally, what is that revenue that maximizes, the, 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 what is the maximal revenue? So we found the quantity that maximizes revenue. We found the price that maximizes revenue. How do we get that actual revenue? Well, I would just actually want to come back to my original equation that my revenue in terms of quantity is equal to 2000Q minus 0.5Q squared, and I want to plug in the quantity that maximizes that. So I would go with R of 2000 is equal to, so 2000 times 2000 minus 0.5 times 2,000 squared, and so this will be equal to, if you plug this into your calculator, you're going to get two million dollars. So a very nice amount of revenue for one basketball game. But the big idea was, the, the big takeaway from this problem was up here, sorry I'll, I'll leave this on the screen for you, the big takeaway from this problem was to write revenue in terms of quantity, and then take the derivative, set it equal to zero to get your max.